Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a uh, TrueCrypt uh, jump drive within Mac OS X. Uh, this is Snow Leopard, specifically a hidden drive, meaning that you're going to have you're going to wind up having two partitions: a public side, which I'll get into more later, and a hidden, uh, ultra secure uh, partition on a jump drive. So what you're going to need is uh, specifically a jump drive, and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. It's a four gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser. Uh, we're going to open it up with Disk Utility so you can see what it is. Uh, it had just been formatted. It has absolutely nothing on it. It's MS DOS, FAT32, uh, nothing, you know, nothing in particular. So we're going to close that. We're going to go right into TrueCrypt. Uh, this is what you're going to see on TrueCrypt. Now you can see there are, you know, a, a bunch of slots you can select. This is what you're going to do the first time when you create a volume for TrueCrypt. So I'm going to select volume number one, click create volume, and what we want to do is create a volume within a partition or drive. Uh, creating an encrypted file container is like creating an encrypted folder. Uh, we, 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 want, we want to encrypt the entire uh, drive. Uh, so we're going to click next, and we want a hidden TrueCrypt volume. What this means is you're going to have a hidden partition which contains all your nasty little secrets. Anything that you don't want anyone to see. Uh, and then it's going to create a public, well I say public but it's still encrypted, uh, a public side which is if you're ever being extorted or you know if you're, you've got a girlfriend that wants to see what the hell's on this jump drive, you can go ahead and mount this public partition. Uh, it's still, it's still uh, backed by the same algorithm. You can choose a different uh, encryption setting, but it has a password. You have to mount it with TrueCrypt, and you can put whatever you want on it, uh, anything that you know isn't sensitive. So that's what I want from this thing. I want to be able to have two volumes. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the device, and we want Jumper. That's the uh, partition. Click Next. It says, we strongly recommend inexperienced users to create a container. Uh, we're not inexperienced, so we're going to go ahead and click Yes. Uh, it's going to format Jumper, so we want to continue. Okay, so this is where we can select the outer volume. This is the, uh, the you know, the, the volume that if you were forced to uh, show, you can use it. Uh, I'm going ahead and I'm going to keep it at AES and I'm going to keep the hash algorithm the same and we're going to go ahead and click next. Uh, so here is where you set the password. Now you can set the password to pretty much anything you want. Uh, just make sure it's um, secure. Okay, so there is my password. I got it in there. Uh, you can use key files. I have not used key files, so let's just continue. Um, so now this point is where you move the mouse around. What this is doing is it's generating a random key. Uh, the longer you do this, the more uh, supposedly uh, str you know stronger the key is or the algorithm. Uh, I usually do this just for a little bit for the outer one. And what we do is we click Format. Uh, it's going to remove. So right now what it's doing is it, it is encrypting the outer uh, volume and it's formatting it with this uh, these keys that have been generated. So this process, you know, it, it takes time for this, you know, just for this 4 gig drive it's taking supposedly 10 minutes. Uh, it can be faster, it can be slower. Right now my, my write speed isn't the best at 6 megs a second, but it, this is an older jump drive. So what we're going to do is wait for this to continue and I'll fast forward the video and you can see when we get done. Okay, so we're just finishing up the outer volume format. Uh, it's taken quite a bit, almost 10 minutes to format the uh, about 3.8 gigabytes uh, drive and we'll move on to the next part 100% as you can see it uses MacFuse um, so what we're gonna do is 
open the outer volume. This is the outer volume, the one that if you were to uh, be forced to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this picture of a cat and another picture onto it. So those will be two pictures that I have on the drive. Uh, what we're going to do is click next. Uh, this is the hidden volume. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to choose a different algorithm and click next. So we've got a problem. There's two partitions. So you need to make sure that your outer volume, the one that if you're forced to open, has enough space if you were to ever move files around, whereas your hidden volume has enough space to hold your uh, unmentionables. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make the hidden volume size slightly smaller so I can put other stuff in my uh, outer volume. So I'm going to choose my My, uh, my hidden volume password, which is completely different from my outer volume. My inner one is completely different from my outer one. Okay. Click next. Uh, we want it as fat. And I'm going to create the random pool to use. So you just spin the mouse around, doodle, write your name, do whatever you want, which creates a random, random number. Okay, click format, and there you go. The hidden volume has been protected, volume has been created, and you are good to go. So what we're going to do is click cancel. So your, your volume's been created. Now it's not going to show up. That's the thing about TrueCrypt. You need to use TrueCrypt to actually mount the uh, device. So what we're going to do is select device and let's go ahead and click on this. Click OK. And then click mount. So what we're going to do is let's put our outer one in. Our, our, our outer password. And there you can see uh, this is the outer password. It should contain the two pictures that I did put in there. Uh, one is of a cat and the other is of a mall. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to rename this to, uh, let's see, what's, what's a good name? I'm going to rename it to Jumper, which was the original name. And what we're going to do is unmount that. So click mount again and if you put your inner password in hit OK a different completely different volume is going to be mounted uh, this is it's going to have nothing in it this is your hidden file this is your hidden uh, your hidden partition so no one, see, you can see up here it says type hidden. No one can see this volume unless you put in the password. So it's essentially a nifty way to hide, you know, and encrypt your jump drives, your full, your entire drives. You can set this up to be, uh, you know, entire internal drives. Um, I do not believe you can do boot it, bootable drives on the Mac. I could be wrong, but this is just one way to... Uh, protect yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmount that and we're going to close TrueCrypt and we're going to I'm going to show you one of the flaws of doing this uh, particular way of uh, encrypting your data. Uh, I'm going to pull the drive out I'm going to put it back in and you're going to get this error every time you plug this in. This is this is a uh, you know, OS 10 trying to mount it and it can't it, it can't mount it because it's encrypted. So what you do, you have to click ignore every time. Um, I've been looking into ways of turning off auto mount for this particular volume. I'm sure there's a way. Um, so what you do is you go into TrueCrypt. Uh, oops, select the device. Uh, enter in your administrator password. 
select the device, click mount. Ignore. Nope, oh, I put the password in wrong. Oh, selected the wrong device. Never mind. Click mount. And there it gets mounted. Uh, while I have it mounted, I'm going to go ahead and change the icon. You can do that simply by using Get Info, copying and pasting. And while I have it mounted, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, passwords that I've been wanting to put on here into this folder. So there you have it. Now you have a true encrypted um, memory stick. Uh, like I said, there are some problems like the uh, warning letting you know that the drive is not readable by OS X. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Uh, I'll look into seeing if we can turn that off. Um, but there you have it. Thanks for watching.